while the eyes are drying um, I'm just thinking about um, the colours that I'm going to be working with and at this stage it looks like the pinks and I'm going to use um, a little bit a little bit of a purple in there as well just not much but just just some I'm thinking of doing that it just all depends on how it all goes so I've prepared um, the colors that I think that I will need so I'll possibly I'll use the the red I might use a bit of pink um, certainly a bit of uh, magenta I think it's magenta, mulberry mulberry that one probably use a bit of white and uh, brown for the eyes and I won't be needing those the pencils um, Prismacolor pen and a, a brown um, this is a gold hybrid gel pen that I like to use it it actually works as the same cut same as the uh, micron pen I might use this on the lips because um, it will match the uh, the dress lips and dress we have to keep in mind the colors we have to keep the colors in mind and the black of course for outlining and uh, that's a gel pen uh, so if we're going to use gel pens we'll also need to spray the face but I want to do that after I've used the Prismacolor pencils because it the Prismacolor pencils take better to the face if it hasn't got a layer of um, a fixative on it the fixative I will also use for the hair at, at the same time okay so uh, I usually start with the red I've already started with the red and um, before I outline things but just do a little bit more of that um, just to make it a little bit more pronounced around the eye we can do that while it's drying and if, if you've got a wide nose which this one isn't but you can use the side of the pencil to create a bit of shading there and that will narrow it down on the side of the nose and a little bit around here the nose should not have too much uh, it shouldn't be too significant on any face it's usually just there it's, it's like a suggestion otherwise it takes over so um, for the nose we can start immediately with the micron pen and just mark in the nostrils Um, we can also mark in the inner part of the mouth and so you don't need to have um, the spray put on it for the micron pen okay um, just might use a bit of the mulberry because it creates a we're doing something like a bit of eyeshadow now just to colors like this you uh, give the um, eye or give you know the face some definition some contour so just lightly moving over it like that haven't even got eyebrows in yet but and we could also just a little bit of a lining under there a little bit of shading and I think that's as far as we can go with that before I spray the face I think I'd better do that now 